Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug with a video on character expressions. This is beginner level. You might want to check out the numeric expressions video. It goes into a little bit more detail about operators and operands. Uh, but we're going to dig right in here. So consider this statement, select Fred, comma, Flintstone. And notice that uh, I've got single quotes on either sides of these and that they're being shown in red. So the color syntax highlighting is saying, oh, things in quotes are uh, string literals. So also notice that there's no quotes in what comes out. So the quotes are really not part of the data. They're delimiters that say, here's where the be data begins, and here's where the data ends. So in this case, I have two pieces of data delimited by single quotes and showing up as two columns. So in terms of, of uh, language here, the type of the data is character data. And then more specifically, it's a sequence of characters. So if you've done some programming in, in a programming language like a Java or a Python or a C Sharp or a C or any of a number of them, the term would be strings. And then furthermore, we might say uh, string literals. So in other words, a literal means that it's actually a value. Interpret this as a value, not the name of something. So it's not code. It's not the name of something. It's actually the characters F, L, I, N, T, etc. And uh, in database speak, you might say data or, I'm sorry, character literal, right? So literal meaning it's a value. It's not anything else. Look at it uh, literally like it's a value. So now look at this. And um, what I've got is the number one, two, three. And then I've got the string or character literal one, two, three. So this is one, two, three as in 123. This is one, two, three, as in the character one, followed by the number two, or character two, followed by the character three. So um, also notice then when I use the plus sign and I say the number one plus five, the plus means addition. So add those two things together. Now, if I take two character literals, one in single quotes and five in single quotes, quotes, and I put a plus between them, then the plus is interpreted differently. It is interpreted as concatenate. So create one character literal that is one and five in between quotes. So that's what I get there. So the resulting data type here is character, and the resulting data type here is numeric. So in this case, uh, plus means concatenate, and I can prove the resulting data types by taking that 1 plus 5 here and f using the SQL variant property to determine that that's a numeric data type, in this case integer, and here if I take two character literals and add them or concatenate them together, then it comes back as a variable character data type or varchar. So not that I'm really covering those data types today, but I wanted to just prove what the result came out as. So look at this. Um, if I take the character literal Fred and I concatenate it with the character literal with a space character between the two quotes and character literal Flintstone, I can do the full name altogether. So I'm concatenating three things, three character literals together to get one character literal. So there's lots more we can do with character data, but uh, most of this is uh, with functions. So I'll run a few functions here and they all come out from left to right here. So all of the data is the same. So it's a space, capital F, R-E-D, right? So the length is showing me how many characters. So space, one, two, three, four, five characters in that literal. Here's that literal uh, uppercased. So convert it all to uppercase. This is it converted all to lowercase. That is the leftmost two characters. So it's kind of hard to see here 
but basically it's getting the space and then the F. Here are the rightmost two characters, so that's using the right function, and in this case it's giving us the E and the D. And then here is a left trim. So what this is doing is it's actually getting rid of the space. Trim means remove white space, so it would be uh, tabs or spaces. And in this case, I'm saying remove it from the left side of the character literal. So there's a bunch of functions uh, that do different things. Now you might also want to determine or search a character literal or string for certain characters. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm using the character index function, and it takes two pieces. It takes some character that you're looking for, and it takes what you're looking for it in. So in this case, it's looking for a space character in this string of Fred Space Flintstone. And what I get is five, and so the fifth character is where the space is or the index location of the space in this string. So character index can help us find something. Now I can do a, it looks a lot scarier than it is, but I can do a more complex function and combine these. So for instance, what I'm doing here is, is showing you the original uh, name and then how I might pull out just the last name. So if I, I'm going to start here at the bottom and use character index uh, to find the space in Fred Flintstone, and that's the number 5. And then here's the length of Fred Flintstone, that's 15. And if I take the length and subtract from it 5, that would give me the number 10. So notice that all of this is the second number in the right function. And then here's the entire right function from parentheses to parentheses. So I'm saying give me the rightmost 10 characters from Fred underscore Flintstone. And that's how I get the last name of Fred Flintstone. And that would work for anything where I have a full name with a space in the middle. So first name, space, last name. Uh, I could do that with any, uh, any name. All right. So what about data that's coming out of a table? Here I'm using all string literals. Every, everything I'm working on is you know, with the single quotes. So here I'm going to do some of the same operations on the product name out of the products table in Northwind. So here's the original product name. Uh, here are all the lengths of all the product names. Here is the product name converted to uppercase. Here's the location of the space in a product name. Now, not all of them, so there's the location of the space. Not all of the product names have a space in them, so we can see that sometimes there's a zero. But then I'll use the write function and do basically the same calculation I did above to get the last name but get me the rightmost characters uh, from the space. So it's either from the space or in case without a space, it's from the beginning. So here is the uh, Boston crab meat would be from here, right, from the crab to the meat. So, um, so basically these functions operate in the same way as with literals, even on uh, you know, tabular data or data that's coming out of the table. So in summary, string literals are delimited by single quotes. Uh, they get color syntax highlighted as red. The plus sign means concatenate when it has string literals on both sides of it. Functions help with other tasks. Uh, so that's how you might work with some string and character expressions.